Call David Seymour. Five minute call. Mr Speaker, I rise on behalf of the Act Party in support of this bill. And might I just uh, chime in in support of what the previous member said, that our international reputation does matter. People do watch uh, what happens in this chamber. Uh, and charity does begin at home. And the member might very well take those words on board. Charity does begin on, at home. And as the Speaker said just yesterday, uh, it's not just what happens in this chamber that people watch, uh, but what happens outside this chamber. And I might remind the member that the proper place for debate in this parliament is within this chamber and the select committee rooms, not out there on the tiles harassing the Prime Minister, as his member Let's did. talk to the bill. Mr Speaker, I'm addressing uh, the bill and the debate on the bill. Mr Speaker, this bill is a positive step uh, for New Zealand. And to those who oppose it, I say there's a very simple thought experiment into which we can enter, uh, and it's this. Uh, there are a number of jurisdictions around the world uh, of similar size to New Zealand, uh, and I would say that, for instance, uh, Denmark is one of those. British Columbia in Canada uh, is one of those. Uh, Colorado in the United States is one of those. And all of those jurisdictions of four or five million people uh, are deeply integrated uh, with the rest of the, of the region uh, that they're part of, with the United States in the part of Colorado, with the European Union in the part uh, of Denmark, uh, with Canada and the wider NAFTA area uh, in the case uh, of British Columbia. And to say that we do not have interests beyond our borders, that it's somehow an abrogation of our sovereignty to be involved in institutions such as this bank uh, is to close yourself off from reality in a way that none of those uh, jurisdictions would have done. Uh, Mr Speaker, public policy must be politically sustainable uh, if it is to endure and achieve its purposes. Uh, and it's interesting to reflect by extension on some of the political views on this bill, uh, and in particular on the one exception party that opposes the bill, which is in uh, this case New Zealand First. Uh, Mr Speaker, uh, New Zealand First is a party traditionally opposed to foreign investment in New Zealand. Uh, their argument is that large profits are taken out of New Zealand uh, when foreigners invest here. Uh, quid pro quo, one might have thought uh, that they would be in favour of New Zealanders investing overseas so we can make such large profits from those other jurisdictions. Uh, but it gets more interesting, Mr Speaker, they're also a party that is typically uh, interested in government taxing taxpayers to fund uh, a lot of enterprises and infrastructure. Uh, and quid pro quo, you might have thought the best possible policy for New Zealand First uh, would be to support a policy where New Zealanders are taxed by the New Zealand government uh, to provide capital for investments uh, which might become profitable and make a return uh, in foreign countries. You, one might have thought that this was the ideal policy for the New Zealand First Party. But of course, Mr Speaker, what I've just done is laid out a coherent uh, and logical series of premises and conclusions, uh, and that is a process completely alien to the New Zealand First Party. And Mr Speaker, this matters uh, for this particular bill and this particular initiative, because public policies, if they are to be sustainable, must be politically accepted. Uh, and New Zealand First claim that they may one day have uh, the balance of power in this House. Uh, Mr Speaker, it is critical uh, that if this policy and our reputation abroad and our interest in having solid, high-quality infrastructure developed outside of our borders, in our region of influence, which any of those other jurisdictions I mentioned would view as important, uh, it is critical that such an incoherent party, whose only true point of reference is a resentment of outsiders, a resentment of foreigners uh, who come here, such as telling them to go home, does not hold the balance of power in this House so that this policy uh, can remain sustainable. And not only uh, will that help in this particular policy, uh, but I dare say it would also increase the average IQ of this House, and I commend this bill to the House. Thank you, Mr Speaker.